Good day class, I'm Ma'am April Joy Ando, your science teacher, and today we're going to discuss the topic about population growth and carrying capacity. So this is one of the lessons in Science 10, Quarter 3, Week 8. So our learning competency for today's lesson is to explain the relationship between population growth and carrying capacity. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let us guess this word here. So this word is defined as a group of organisms of the same species, plants, animals, and other organisms that live in a certain area at the same time. So there are a set of images here. So when you combine these images, it will form the word. So I'm going to give you five seconds to think of this word that starts with letter P. Okay, time's up. Any word in mind? So the first image there is popcorn. So we may write the word pop. Then the next image is pointing to you. And then we have the third image. Okay, a child is going to school, maybe late. Then you write the last letters O-N. So the word is population. Did you guess it right? Okay, I hope so. So let's first have unlocking of difficulties by defining some of the words or terms that we will encounter as we move on with our lesson. So what I need to know, okay, first is population growth. Okay, class, you may read along with me. Population growth is how the population size in a particular environment changes over time. The birth rate and death rate are two of the most basic factors that affect the rate of population growth. Population size increases when birth rate is higher than death rate. The next term is carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of organisms that the environment can sustain. It is determined by the quantity of available resources such as food, shelter, and water. So what else do I need to know? Population growth has two types, exponential growth and logistic growth. So as you can see in the graph shown, exponential growth is represented by the blue curve while the logistic growth is in green. The red line there, the horizontal red line, is for the carrying capacity. So what's the difference between exponential growth and logistic growth? So exponential growth is a type of population growth when there's unlimited resources in the environment. A population increase is observed which results in a J-shape curve. While logistic growth, on the other hand, happens when the available resources needed to support the population are limited. An S-shaped curve is formed as the population levels off as it reaches the carrying capacity. So the first difference that we can see here is for exponential growth, the resources are unlimited. Well, for logistic growth, we have limited resources in the environment. So population growth be because of unlimited resources, as you can see in this blue curve here, the population increases. While for logistic growth, there is a limited, there is limited resources in the environment that can sustain the growing population. So hence, once it reaches the carrying capacity, population stops increasing or stops growing. So resulting to a letter similar to a letter S shape curve here. So please do not forget about exponential and logistic growth. So now let's proceed to the first activity. So we can see here a graph, exponential versus logistic growth. So on the vertical axis, we can see the population from 0 to 900 and the year or generation is on the a horizontal axis and then you have here curve A and curve B. So we will answer the following questions and you need to refer to the graph so please study or examine the graph shown at the right. So you may write your answers on your notebook or any clean sheet of paper. So let's start. Number one, which of the two curves exhibits exponential growth? Describe the population in this type of growth. So is it curve A or curve B that exhibits exponential growth? 
and you need to describe the population in this type of growth. Okay, second question, which of the two curves exhibits a logistic growth? Describe the population in this type of growth. Third question is, what is the current capacity in this graph? And the last one, what happens to the population growth once the current capacity has been reached? So you have four questions to answer. Okay. Write all your answers on your notebook or any sheet of paper. So now it's time for us to discuss the answers. Okay, so we, you will be doing a self-check, okay? So you will check your own answers. So the graph is still here, shown here. So we will reveal now the correct answers for number one. Which of the two curves exhibits exponential growth and describe the population in this type of growth? Answer is, exponential growth is curve A. Population increases as there are unlimited resources available in the environment. Okay, number two, which of the two curves exhibit a logistic growth? Describe the population in this type of growth. The answer is, logistic growth is curve B. Population stops increasing due to limited resources in the environment. What is the current capacity? It's 800. And the last question is, what happens to the population growth once the current capacity has been reached? Okay, the answer is, the population stops growing once the current capacity is reached. This means resources needed by the organisms to survive becomes limited. Do you have the correct answers? Okay, please uh, do assess your answers. Okay, do the necessary corrections if you have any incorrect uh, answers given to the questions. So now we will proceed to activity two. Okay, we have another graph, but this time it's a deer population. And then you have here the years in 1985, 1990, and 1995. So the population of the deer is shown here on the vertical axis. The year is on the horizontal axis. Carrying capacity is in broken lines. So what are we going to do with this? Okay, study the graph at the left and read the following statements. Put a check mark if the statement is true and an X mark if it is false, okay? So it's like true or false, but instead of writing true or false, you will be putting a check mark for true and an X mark if it's false. So write your answers on your paper or notebook. Let's start with number one. The deer population grew exponentially before the year 1990. So is it a check or an X? Okay. Number two. There is further increase in the deer population when it had reached the carrying capacity. Number three, the carrying capacity of the environment affected the growth of the deer population because at this period, the available resources become limited. Number four, overall the deer population exhibit exponential growth. And number five, when the population finally reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, the population stops growing as there is insufficient resources to sustain life. So you have five statements. Okay, decide on whether the statement is true for you to put a check mark. And if it's false, you just uh, write an X on your paper. Okay, do you have your answers now? Okay, so let's reveal the answers here for number one. The deer population grew exponentially before the year 1990, so it's a check mark. Number two, there is further increase in the deer population when it had reached the carrying capacity. And the answer is an X mark. Okay, why do you think it's an X mark here? Okay, so carrying capacity is in broken horizontal line in the graph, so... It should be there is no further increase in the deer population when it had reached the carrying capacity. Because as you can see in the graph, 
the population did not exceed the carrying capacity. Okay, number three, the carrying capacity of the environment affected the growth of the population, of the deer population, because at this period, the available resources become limited. So it's checked. Number four, overall, the deer population exhibit exponential growth. It's an X, okay, because it should be logistic growth. Okay, number five. When the population finally reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, the population stops growing as there is insufficient resources to sustain life. Okay. Is it check or X? It's a check mark. Okay. So how many items did you get right? Okay. So are all of these things now called the concepts of population growth and carrying capacity clear to you did you understand the lesson so this is already a summary what i need you to do now is to pick the right word that is actually fitting to the description provided here so there are words inside the parentheses you pick one you write that word on your paper okay so let's start Carrying capacity, population growth, is the maximum number of organisms that can be supported by the environment. When resources are unlimited, population grows exponentially, logistically, resulting to a J-shaped curve. On the other hand, population exhibit logistic exponential growth resulting to an S-shaped curve when resources are limited. When a population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, population growth Expands, stops. Okay, so now let's reveal the correct words here. Okay, so take note of the underlined words. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of organisms that can be supported by the environment. When resources are unlimited, population grows exponentially, resulting to a J-shaped curve. On the other hand, population exhibit logistic growth, resulting to a S-shaped curve, when resources are limited. When a population finally reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, population growth stops. So this is the summary of the things that we discussed in this lesson video. So the words here are underlined for emphasis. So now get ready for the assessment. So I'm giving you five item quiz regarding the topic we had. Okay, so Multiple choice, read and understand the test items below, select the best answer to every question. So just write the answer on your paper or on your notebook. So let's begin. Question one, which one describes a carrying capacity? A, the maximum number of individuals rather that can fit into an area. B, the ability of an environment to accommodate a growing population. C, the greatest number of individuals that an area can sustain over the long term. Number two, when do populations grow exponentially? A, resources are limited. B, resources are unlimited. Or C, standards of living are high. Question three, when do populations grow logistically? Letter A, resources are limited. B, resources are unlimited, or letter C, standards of living are high. Number four, what happens to the population after it, have, it has reached carrying capacity? A, it begins to grow exponentially. B, it stops growing. C, neither A nor B. And number five. Which of these statements explain the relationship between population growth and carrying capacity? Letter A. The population grows exponentially when there's unlimited resources. But, as the population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, resources become limited. Hence, population growth slows down and stops. Letter B. The population grows exponentially when there is unlimited resources, but as the population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, resources become limited, hence population growth further expands. And letter C, 
the population grows logistically when there's limited resources. But as the population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, resources become unlimited. Hence, population growth slows down and stops. So there you go, the five questions. Let's find out the correct answers to these questions. Okay, number one, which one describes a carrying capacity? Which one is your answer? Okay, let's find out if that is correct. The correct answer is letter C, the greatest number of individuals that an area can sustain over the long term. Okay, number two, when do populations grow exponentially? Your answer is? And the correct answer is letter B, resources are unlimited. Number three, when do populations grow logistically? The correct answer is A, resources are limited. Number four, what happens to the population after it has reached its carrying capacity? Okay, what could be the answer here? Letter B, it stops growing. And what's your answer for number five, the last item? Okay, so it's letter A. Okay. Explaining the relationship between population growth and carrying capacity. Okay, the population grows exponentially when there is unlimited resources, but as the population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment, resources become limited. Hence, population growth slows down and stops. So these are the correct answers. So how many correct answers did you get? Okay, very good. So now we can proceed to the assignment. Okay. Okay, so list down these questions on your notebook or on your paper, and I want you to present the answers in a form of a graphic organizer or a concept map. So question number one, what are the two types of density limiting factors? Number two, list down the density dependent and density independent limiting factors. And number three, how does each limiting factor affects the population? So I hope that this lesson video help you understand the lesson about the relationship between population growth and carrying capacity. Again, class, uh, this lesson video was made for you to be able to gain a better understanding of the lessons provided by the modules. So we are facing the pandemic at this time. So modular distance learning is actually implemented in different schools in different countries so one way for us teachers to augment okay to supplement your learning is by creating lesson videos okay for you so i hope this helped you a lot once again this is mom april saying thank you for listening to me until the next lesson video